installation of the Microsoft Edge browser, newest version, on an Apple Mac computer with High Sierra version 10.13.6. First, go to the Microsoft.com webpage using the URL for the web page provided in the description box below. Next, scroll down to the bottom of the web page. Look for the gray box. The title in the gray box is Looking for an Older Version of Edge. On the right side are three boxes that you can select. Select Channel Version Stable 116. Select Build 116.81. It's the second option. It starts with 116 and ends with .81. Then select Mac OS Universal. These three configurations are in the, uh, in the screenshot on the right side of this video. Stable 116, build 116.81, Mac OS Universal. Then click download, accept and install. So I just provided for you the summary of the steps required to install the newest version of the Microsoft Edge browser on an Apple Mac computer with High Sierra version 10.13.6. In the remainder of this video, I will elaborate on these instructions. So the computer that you're looking at here is an Apple iMac 27 inch late 2009. It's older. It has High Sierra version 10.13.6. I want the newest version of the Microsoft Edge browser. So this web page that you're looking at here is Microsoft.com. The title of the page is Download and Configure Microsoft Edge for Business. I will provide the URL for this web page in the description box below. On the, uh, on the web page, it gives you an option to download the latest. The middle button says Mac OS. And under Mac OS Universal, it has the identifying number for the version of the Microsoft Edge, which is the newest version. It starts with 117 and ends with .55. So 117 is the, is the general category of the version, and .55 is the specific subset or the build that they call for this Microsoft Edge browser. You're going to click Download accept and download. When you do that, you will get downloaded onto your computer um, an installation package and it will say Microsoft Edge, it will start with 117 and it will end with .55. When you click that, you will get an error message. It will say Microsoft Edge cannot be installed on this computer, you need version 10.15 of the Mac OS. So then, the way to work around this problem is to look for older versions of the Microsoft Edge browser. For that, you need to scroll down to the bottom of the web page for the gray panel. At the bottom of the web page, the title in the gray panel is looking for an older version of Edge. And on the right side, you have three options to specify which, uh, which version and build that you want. So the approach that I attempted to find the newest version was I went to the newest uh, version, which is what they call Stable 117. And we see here that the newest version starts with the number 117 and ends with .55. So we know that's the newest version. So the newest version, Stable 117, build, ends with 55, which is the top option here. So I also downloaded the oldest version available, which was at the bottom, dot thirty-one. So this is one seventeen, ending with dot thirty-one. I selected Mac OS Universal and I downloaded it. When I did that, it gave me the same error message that I need a newer Mac OS version ten one fifteen. As a reminder, I have an older version, High Sierra, which is ten point thirteen. So one seventeen is not in play. 
So then I said, all right, let me look at the next uh, family, uh, the next family of versions, which is 116. So the newest is 117, so we're going to 116. So then what I did was I went through the different versions and found that uh, found that the second option, the dot .81 version of the 116 family, does have a, a version that's compatible with Mac. So again, we're looking at 116. The drop-down menu has the newest at the top and the oldest at the bottom. So let's look at the newest, 116.98. And it does not have a Mac OS option. It only has, has window options. All right, so let's go to the next version. It starts with 116 and ends with 81. And we see that it does have a Mac OS universal, so we're going to select that. So on the right side of the screen are the three options that you need to select. Stable 116, build 116, ending with dot 81, 81, and you select Mac OS Universal. Then you download it. Okay, so then what happens is you're going to get the installation package, and the title is Microsoft Edge. 116 is the front number, and the ending number is dot 81. So 116 dot 81. And I'll put these, this configuration in the description box below. So you're going to click this, and I'm going to do a live install right now because currently the Microsoft Edge uh, browser is not installed on this Mac. So clicking the installation package, continue, install, okay, now it's actually operating, or it's installing uh, Microsoft Edge 116 build 81 on Mac OS High Sierra version 10.13.6. So let's give it some time to install. And again, the uh, Microsoft.com web page URL and these three configurations uh, will be in the description box below. All right, waiting for the installation. Installation was successful. Close. So when I close it, the Microsoft Edge browser is opening up. You see that the icon is bouncing at the bottom of my uh, screen here. I'm going to close the pre. I'm going to minimize the other browser, which was this was um, in Google Chrome. And here we go. This is Microsoft Edge. Let's go to Bing.com. And it is, uh, so I went to Bing.com, then I click chat, which gives me the Microsoft um, Artificial Intelligence AI um, chat. And we see that in the upper right corner, if you click the Bing icon, which is in the upper right corner, you can also open.